Powered by passion to protect the net. Hyperactive hero encode. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the stream. I was hiding from you for a second there. How are you guys doing today? Oh, I'm sorry. You can't. You can't tell that I'm actually like alive in here. Well, that's easily solved. There we go. How's that? Oh, why is the mouth plate on? Here, I'll take it off. Poop. There I am. Wait. Oh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> I feel silly. Ah. <laughs> okay, well, starting off a little scuffed today. That's okay. That's okay. Um, so I guess you missed my uh, my little intro there. Let me let me try this again. <laughs> um, powered by passion to protect the net. Hyperactive hero encode. Is that a little better? Hopefully. <laughs> anyway. Um, Today, we are going to play some Outer Wilds. This is a game that my Digital Realm roommate recommended, and he was really looking forward to me playing this. So, unfortunately, he had plans come up, so he can't be with us during the stream, but maybe he'll join a little later. Um, but if not, you know, no harm, no foul, right? No sense delaying the inevitable. Let's just hop right in. Uh, wait, wait, what, 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 <laughs> what, <laughs> what happened to the, what happened to the logo? We, everything okay here? It just kind of drifted apart. I mean, I know I had the game pulled up in the background, but like, what? <laughs> All right, uh, we're not going to let that bother us. Um... In case you're just joining us, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you can see when I'm being, or <laughs> so you can see when I'm going live. Hit the bell for notifications, and of course, you can follow me for all updates at Hyperact Hero on Twitter. But without further ado, uh, I'm just gonna check something real quick. There we go. Up. Oh. Has someone joined us? Gotta, we gotta get this chat going. Um, okay, I'm gonna switch the input on one of my monitors, and we will be able to get started. Okay. So... <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think the logo is just drifting further and further apart. Uh, I can't really tell, though. It looks kind of static right now. Uh, let's get started. I've heard nothing but good things about this game. Let's check this out. Lo oh, <laughs> that's, the that's how it loads? Okay. Wake up. Um, okay. 
Oh wow, this uh, really responsive right stick controls there. Um, hello, sir. How are you? Um, okay, well, I can move. I can. Uh, oh, hello. I got. I. I what? I. Oh, my sleeping bag. Oh, okay, so we... Yeah, I, I knew it! We're space camping! <laughs> All right. What's this? Roast marshmallow. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! What? Oh, I can move it around. Okay. All right. I can't get any closer to the fire, though. Can I, can I like, burn it? Can I, can I burn it? Um, move stick with R, extend stick with R2. Okay, I got it, I got it. Oh, oh no! Oh no, 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 no. Uh, not a fan of that. Um, let's try this again. Um, <clears throat> gotta get it just the right amount of close. Just close enough. So that it will, why is my stick drifting? Oh, up and down, okay. And pull it back, and look at that. The perfectly roasted marshmallow. Fantastic. Let's do another. This is, this is, this is the kind of excitement you, oh no, 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 no. Whoops. I'm sure this is the kind of excitement you come to my stream for, right? I mean, wow, this music is so nice though. Listen to that guitar. Here, let's move it to the other side. We gotta fully roast this marshmallow properly. Okay. And, wow. Oh, hey, it looks really nice. Look at that roast. All right. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, I'm done with that. Um, let's figure out what we're supposed to do. Slate. Can I, can I, like, crouch? Can I crouch? Oh, a flashlight. I have a flashlight. Can I crouch? I can't crouch. Okay. Slate has, oh, Slate has four eyes. Ugh. Uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We don't judge here. I'm not racist. Talk to Slate. Oh, hello. Oh, he's cute. There's our pilot. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. All systems go. I'm ready if you are. Uh, you sure you fixed the retro rockets? <laughs> um, that sounds like something we should check on. There was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. All right. Let's see here. Um, I don't know if this is the direction I'm supposed to go. Oh, I can jump. Okay. Gravity seems a little low. I bet the... Oh, maybe the... Am, am I going the right way to the observatory? There's a sun. I, was so, I thought it was nighttime, but I guess we were just in a cave. Fly model ship. Uh, oh. Horizontal thrust. Ew. Um, up and down thrust. L2, R2. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. And then I can use the... Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay. Where am I supposed to take it? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Oh, well. That's not good. Uh-oh. Hey, nice. Oh, no, no! <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, can I, can I land it? Can I land it? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, I was so close. Come on. Uh, 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 oh, oh, no, 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 That's bad. Uh, uh, 
that's okay. That's up. So this is down. So can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I move forward? Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get up. Up. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. It's stuck. Can I, can I get it free? Can I get it free? Nope. Okay. I want to land on the platform. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. 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 We can still land on the platform. We can totally still land on the platform. Yes. Got it. First try. All right. Um, can I land on this platform? Oh, 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 uh oh. Oh, that didn't sound good. Um, currently upside down. That's fine. Can 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 we move out of here? Uh oh. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, yeah, I'm stuck. Come on. Gotta land on the far platform. Gotta land on the far platform. Come on, come on. No, no, no. Why why are we going this way? Why are we going this way? No, no, no. Come back. Oh, okay. Come on. Forward. Forward. Come on. Go to the platform. There we go. Landed it. And didn't get a trophy for it or anything. Of course. All right. Um, I guess now we should probably head to the observatory. Um, observatory is all the way over there. So I think I, I'm pretty sure I went the wrong direction. Oh, hello. Who are you? Mika. What a landing. I guess that's why Slate lets you fly the real thing, huh? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. That's why. Because I'm the master pilot, you know. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Okay. All right. Um, I, I guess the observatory is this way. Hold on a second. Gotta make sure these headphones are on properly. All right. Hello. Who are you? Orthy. hey -o, hatchling. Oh, do we hatch from eggs? I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gusan open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Uh, let's do this one. An iron stomach is the mark of a true Harthian, my friend. Harthian, okay. Our hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle seems stems from trial and error, by which I mean our ancestors survived to eating a lot of bad things. Okay. Whoa. Okay. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. <laughs> I'm at told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. Yeah, the space program certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing a fewer for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. Okay. Um, Outer Wilds Ventures presents postcards from orbit. Use satellite camera. Our projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Ah. Okay. Um. Forward snapshot, rear view snapshot. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. Um, I don't think, I don't think that's it. Um, it's nighttime here, so this is the other side of the planet, I think. Oh, wait, right here. Nice. That's where we're at. Okay. Uh, here. That's cool. Um, I'm not sure what else is in here or if there's anything at all that I need. 
Time is clearly passing. I don't know if the days are just short or if I'm just uh, taking a real long time to do this, to do anything. Talk tomorrow. So it's launch day, huh? Al's going to miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and that and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping the space program. Just say the word. Current launch pad is fine, thanks. Nice try. We know you have it out for that tree. The launch pad is flammable. Ha! <laughs> you didn't realize that? Don't worry. It's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Probably. All right, moving on. Um, I'm not really sure. Oh, hello. Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other, tra any other, any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? T tell me about the travelers' instruments. Where's the observatory? Just saying hi before I leave. Oh, sure. I made all of their instruments. You know. Let me see. There's shirts, drums, Riebex banjo, and Gabro's flute. Okay, so that sounds like it's going to be important info. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course. Even though Feldspar has been missing for quite a long time, sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space? That'll be one of the space programs of the Travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Okay. Trouble is, every time a harpian leaves for outer space, there's one less musician in our orchestra. So, did you need something? Where's the observatory? It's questions like that that what makes us worried about you going up in space on your own, you know? The observatory is the path behind the is up the path behind the waterfall. There are a couple of signs marking the way, but really, you just keep going up and then hook a right when you get to the zero G cave. Zero G cave. Oh, there's a sign right here. No wonder they're worried about me. Um, hello. Tefra. Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker, what's with the radio? If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we, can we please? We'll even let you be it. We'll even let you be it. I, I, I do want to learn how to use the signal scope, so let's do it. Here are the rules. Galena, Galena and me will hide with these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Nice. Uh, equip signal scope. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, I get it. I get it. Oh, you found me. My Jesus, loud. Lower that a little bit. Oh, you found me, but my hiding spot was super good. Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? All right, all right, all right. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, I'm in the water. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, oh, up there, up there. Um, uh, over there. Okay, jump. Ugh, I can't get up there. Um, can I get up here? Nope. So how am I going to get over there? Uh, I need to... Maybe if I go... Oh, I get it. I got to follow the path to the observatory, don't I? And if I just keep going this way, eventually I'll get there, won't I? Oh, no. I got to go the other way. This way. There we go. Okay. Uh... Over. Oh, nice hiding spot. Nicely done. I won? I'm happy. Aw. Thanks for playing with us. 
Aw, <laughs> that's cute. Okay, uh, come on! Huh! I can't get out. Okay, fine. I guess I have to go around again. I like this guitar. Wow. These harpians have the same instruments we do. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps to pass the time. You're leaving the crater. Guess we'll all be a little busier with it without you around to lend a hand. That big water planet, Giant's Deep, that's where I'd go. Why's that? One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down, on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, but they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly Gabro couldn't go any further. Yeah, Giant Steep has a current you can't pass through. I underestimated how boring this would be. <laughs> Tell me more. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabro go any deeper. It held Gabro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabro saw it. Uh, what? The tentacle of some hideous beast. Uh, uh is that all true? Was there a sa sapwine? What? Is that all true? Heard it from Gabro himself. Himself. Gabro can be a little fanciful, sure, but they, but they aren't a liar. I mean, probably anyway. I guess if you want to know the if the story is entirely true, you can go to Giants Deep for yourself. Fishing song, fishing song. Jeez, I think my bait is wrong. What are you up to? I'm looking for Hornfells. Oh, them? I bet today's haul they're in the observatory. Not. Not that I've caught anything yet, but if I had, I'd definitely bet it. Hornfells is pretty much always in the observatory. Okay, so I assume this guy's going to have more information for me uh, based on... Like, like obviously there were things he was saying that I don't have any context for. So I'm assuming we're going to learn about that later. But anyway, we got to head to the Zero-G cave. So that we can get to the observatory. Oh, hello. Is this... Is this where we launch from? Uh... What is this? A scout launcher? What? Put away, aim launcher. I, okay, I can't aim, like, up and down. I can only aim side to side. What happens if I launch it? Uh... R1. Take snapshot. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. So that will be handy information for later, I'm sure. Oh, okay, there's fall damage. Uh, okay. Uh, there's fall damage. Bad, bad, bad. Um, zero G cave. What, what is this? Hey, come say hi if you if you're old to your old flight coach before your launch. I've you've got I've got zero G training set up if you want a refresher. Okay. So this is Gasan. Yeah. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Right, like you weren't nervous for your first flight. Hey, don't worry about it. Your nerves are between you, me, and the vast endlessness of space. That's not terrifying at all. But really, you'll do fine out there. I'd want, I'd worry more about that ship if I were you. Hopefully that lunatic sl that luna lunatic. <laughs> Hopefully that lunatic slate at least fixed the retro rockets. So listen, there's a satellite which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in the zero G cave in and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last minute zero G practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. One repaired satellite coming up. Cool, get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Yeah, that would be bad. All right, let's do it. Zero G. Um, okay. 
let's see here. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wow. It's a... Wow. That's really cool. Uh, okay. So, I'm gonna have to remember my way. So, first, go through here. Then, oh, it's a straight path, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Straight path. Oh, I have to zoot up for zero G. I get it. Okay. Interesting. I have up and down thrust. Okay. Let's go. And I have horizontal. Oh, it's just like the little con remote control ship. Okay. Can I, can I talk? Can, I, can we talk? Hi, t hi there, tough. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. I'm getting some zero G time in. But give me the dirt. Guess where I'm going today. Let's do this. Some fresh dirt. Not much happening down here lately. Let me think. Come to think of it, Tektite saw something crash outside of the village crater earlier. That's new and different. What? Anything about that? Yeah, they were on Firewatch with the old scout launcher and saw smoke, so they went to check it out. Safety first, right? Firewatch is another game I should play. No, I'm kidding. I said that to Tektite once. Pretty rude how, how long they laughed for, if you ask me. Need something? Uh, just getting in some zero G time. So you're going in there in the cave? <laughs> what? No, I'm fine. Great, great, and fine. Uh, you don't look fine. Well, you know I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. <laughs> well, excuse me. <laughs> now I've got hand sweats. Um, yeah, I'm going to drift down there for a while. Just going to float upside down and whatnot. <laughs> Just, you know, ricochet off the walls, spin around the lot, that kind of thing. You're, you're the worst. I know. <laughs> he won't talk to me anymore. <laughs> oh my god, that's that was mean. I shouldn't have done that. Zero G cave. Let's go. Okay, and let's not take fall damage this time. Uh. Okay. Um. Oh boy. Oh boy. One of three repaired, or zero of three repaired, I should say. Oh. Oh no. Uh. I I I don't really. Oh boy. This is really trippy. Um, oh boy. Okay, 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 okay. Can I, can I, can I, can I get a... Down thrust, down thrust. Down, 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 down. I missed. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. But I guess I'm... Oh, I'm supposed to go over here. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. Uh, pre press lock on. Um, I don't know. Oh, down, down, down. Gotta go, gotta go down, gotta go down, gotta... Less down, less down. Uh... Oh, uh... Oh, shoot, okay. X. Uh, shoot. Okay, this is... This is difficult. Um... Oh, um... Square? No. Come on. Come on. Okay, all right, all right, we got it, we got it. All right, that's that's one. That's one. Aha. Okay, um, this is starting to make me think that jetpacks aren't actually so cool. Come on, down. Oh, shoot. Not, no, no, forward, but... Okay, all right, there we go. Velocity match, nice. Okay, now where's the last one? Oh. Okay. Come on, 
Come on. With R1, I can roll. What does that do? Or, or with, no. Uh, uh, oh, okay, I get it. I get it now. It's like camera controls or whatever. Ooh, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we are, here we are. No, wait, why, why? Stop, stop. X, X to match velocity, and then hold down square to repair. Nice. Training simulation complete. Fantastic. Um, now I could explore more of this cave, or I could find my way out. Um, which I'm not really sure which way is out anymore. Um, I think it's the, I think it's just straight over there. Oops. Oh, 50% fuel remaining. That's not good. Ah, got it. Okay, now I'm facing the correct way. Uh, where'd I come from? I, I have to go further up. Further up. Understood. And here we are. Back where we started. Fantastic. Nice. And then through here. And we're back. Awesome. Glad I was able to do that without too much issue. But man, that, that is really dizzying. <laughs> This game is not for the weak stomached. Can you imagine playing this in VR? It would be impossible. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. Gee, thanks. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck hit out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I put so much time into training you. Got it? Thanks, Gasan. Okay, so, um, zero-g cave. Observatories this way. Uh, I'm not wearing my suit anymore, so... Can't do that anymore. Um... Can I go in here? Nope. Um, there's a, like, there's a thing I can climb here. What is this? Is this gonna be important later? It might be. Oh, well. Moving right along. Gotta get to the observatory. It's right there. So, how's your weekend going, you guys? Me? I, I was messing around with the... Uh, ooh, what? Oh, oh the, huh. So, except for Gasson, these are the guys who have the instruments, I think. If I remember correctly, big thanks to these to these additional funding founding members of Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom we would have never gotten off the ground. Matthews. Uh, are these like the developers? I think these are the developers. Jordan Frith, Tom Cummings, Sean Shark Templar Farrell. Oh, these it's, it's got to be the devs. Outer Wilds Ventures, founding members, clockwise from the top left, Hornfells, uh, Gusan, Slate, and Feldspar. Hi, Hal. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch A at last, huh, buddy? It's the Translator Tools inaugural fright. Bleh. I can't talk. Um, it's the Translator Tools inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez, don't break it. <laughs> uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous, and I'm not even the one going into this space. How are you feeling? How are you feeling, chat? Not much chat going on at the moment, but how are you feeling? Got to got to do a vibe check. Um, I me I'm feeling great. I mean, I I've had a really bad cough lately, as, as I'm sure some of you know, but uh, <clears throat> it's 
a lot better today. A lot better. I'm not. I, I I even took my cough medicine so that it would be even less bad. I'm feeling good. I am excited for this flight. Good. You've only been wait, waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You here to see the no, the new Nomai statue? New statue? You haven't heard? Gabro brought it back with them from Giant's Deep, and Hornfeld's just finished prepping it for display. This is it right here. Neat, huh? Makes me wish I could see we could see what a real li what live Nomai look like looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And as for and for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? So this is a Nomai. And they, they're intelligent beings. And we have the head of one here. Interesting. Or is it just a... Wait, is it just a statue? This remarkably intact... Oh yeah, it's a statue. Carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as the as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where this species came from or what happened to them. Uh, one more time? They dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. Okay, so they're extinct. Um, why did the Nomai make this statue? Good question. So Gabriel found this fully intact statue in, on Giant's Deep, right? Well, Hornfels told me it's made from the same type of special stone as the partial statue Chert brought back from the Hourglass Twins. That's when Gabro, you know, ships the Giant's Deep statue. That that stone, that fragment, that... Bleh, that stone fragment was repurposed for your ship's computer. Maybe the statues were made for storing information. Was there something else? Where'd you say the statue came from? Why did the Nomai make the statue? Think I'll discover anything cool in space. Hey, you never know. Maybe you'll be the one to solve the mysteries of the Nomai. Or maybe you'll discover a new kind of rock or something. But honestly, as long as they don't end up naming, a f naming new safety equipment after you, I'm sure you'll have done a great job. <laughs> oh, boy. Nope, that's it. Bye, Hal. Whoa. What? Frame rate dropped a little here. Um, I guess because of the lighting effects. Yeah, definitely because of the lighting effects. Um, this is cool, though. Whoa! What? Uh, okay. Cassava. Whoa! Okay. We're nearly ready. Fe Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Adel Rock's lack of a atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Okay. So that's what Nomai writing looks like. That's good to know. This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Oh, okay. Understood. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign and celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe, or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? Hmm. Interesting. These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through th further xenoarchaeological Xeno expeditions. Okay. Oh, are these the bones of the Nomai? What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. 
the differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Harthians couldn't have descended from the Nom Nomayan ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Oh, hello. The satellite. The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to our Outer Wilds ventures, allow allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval ability, a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. <sighs> Excuse me. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Um, okay. This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to have a local gravity distortion, most likely used to traverse these steep surfaces. Interesting. Whoa! Whoa! That is insane. Oh, um, yeah, the, the, okay, so they put the same thing in there twice. Uh, whoa. That's, that's not terrifying at all. Yeah. Uh, the angler, this anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Oh, hello. Solar system. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star be has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Shirt's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Uh, is that foreshadowing? I hope not. Can I, can I get in here? Yeah. Yeah. Play with the balls. I mean, we're not in public, right? So uh, it's it's safe to play with the balls, right? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Watch closely. These balls move on their own. They what? Um, I, but I moved them. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, Ad the Adel Rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Interesting. Okay, I think I checked everything out in here. I Well, actually, I do want to come over here into this room. Whoa. What is this crater? The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of opt optical illusion at play. But Gabreau claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. What? What? Hello. Hello, rock. So you, so basically, if I look away from this rock, it's going to be somewhere else. Oh, that is creepy. So I'm going to run into this phenomenon out in space somewhere. And it's not going to be just a rock. <laughs> oh, boy. That's, that's encouraging. 
There's lots of really cool creative concepts at play here. Very imaginative world here. Oh, hello. Is this the orbit of the solar system? Whoa! I was not expecting all this. Yo. Timber Hearth. The Hourglass Twins. Can I, can I zoom in? Uh, I can. I can zoom in. These are the Hourglass Twins. There's the Ember Twin and the Ash Twin. Okay. Um... Brittle Hollow is over here. Dark Bramble is all the way over here. And where is Giant's Deep? That, okay, interesting. Where was it that everyone was supposed to disappeared again? I'm gonna have to figure that out. Um, okay. Um... Hmm, this is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. But if that's true, is everything closer in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? Hornfell's observations. This is incredible! At first, I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies! Oh! And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I... I think I need to sit down. Okay, can, can I look through the telescope? I, I fell into some... I, I fell. Okay. Um... No? Can't do anything with this? Nope. Okay, well then let's get those launch codes. Hello, Hornfells. There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and the local conditions are good. It's time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to travel the mysteries of the... Excuse me. I am I am not on point with my reading today. Um, we're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Oh my, I have a lot of options here. I'm going to learn more about the Nomai. I'll meet up with the other travelers. I want to go somewhere that no one's gone before. I think I'll start with something small. I don't know. I'm going to wing it. <laughs> um, don't think there's anyone here to give me any guidance. Yeah, looks like no one's here at the moment. So, I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to make this decision myself. Oh, but there's so much pressure. How am I ever going to make a decision by myself? Um, okay. Well, how about, let's, let's try to meet up with the other travelers. You're going to check in with them, are you? Not a bad plan. No one knows the solar, the solar system better than our astronauts. Let's see, Chert is on the Hourglass Twins, Riebeck is on Brittle Hollow, and Gabro is on Giant Steep, last I checked. And, well, there's Feldspar, obviously, but, obvi but of course, we don't know where they are or if they're even alive. Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. On a more cheerful note, you'll find Esker stationed on the Addle Rock. They're not a traveler so much as a lunar local, but I'm sure they'd appreciate a visit nevertheless. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for launch. I'm I'm ready to die in space. <laughs> I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlucky to say before a launch? <laughs> At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are every bit as safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Cool. I have the launch codes. I don't know where to take them. Uh. Well, I suppose... 
I'll figure that out. All right. And nope, that's not where we go. Gotta go out. Where? Which way is out? Oh, I missed it. It was right here. Oh, hey. The other guys go... Oh! What? What just happened? Uh, that's not creepy at all. Uh, uh, oh, launch tower. I guess that's where I go. Oh, hello. Hey, hey, so did you get a good look at that Nomai statue? Yeah, um... What's the deal? Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened and you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? Oh, that statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did. But why? Hornfels tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open. Nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabro said they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'll be able. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So maybe you'd, you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous. You're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. Translator tool to find out more about the statue. Okay, all right. It's a good call. But I don't think there's any writing over here. Yeah, definitely not. Okay. It's time for launch. So Gabro's on Giant's Deep, and he might know more about the statue. So I think that's going to be our first mission. What is this, firewood? Okay. Um, I like this house. Can I go in? Nope. Can't go in. Okay. Um, who are you? Oh, it's Tefra. Hello, astronaut. Are you going to space today? Are you going to space and never coming back like Belt Smart did? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's pretty disturbing. But Hornfell says no one knows what happened to Belt Spar. Hornfell says they got lost in space even though they were the best pilot ever. You're not as good as Belt Spar, so you should be really careful not to get lost. Gee, thanks, kid. Real helpful. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, camp. Hello, Slate. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoided system for this one. Uh, sorry. Does he mean to tell me? Autopilot's avoidance system? Oh boy. Oh boy. Enter launch codes. We're going up. Oh, okay. Whoa. My ship. What is this? Oh, this is the pilot seat. And over here I got my suit. Um... View ship log. So is this a record of where I know Giants Deep? So there's okay. So these are the this is the um the hourglass twins. 
This is Timber Hearth and, and our moon. This is... Oh, that's Brittle Hollow. Okay. <coughs> Giant's Deep, Dark Bramble, and the Interlo the Interloper. That looks like a asteroid, so that can't be good. Um, all right, well, I think we're going to Giant's Deep first. Hal says Gabro went back to Giant's Deep to try to learn more about the Nomai statue in the observatory. All right. Now, let's see here. Timber Hearth. The one and only Harthian village, as well as the main source of explosions on this planet. <laughs> That's not good. The Nomai statue in the observatory opened its eyes and looked at me. I saw strange glowing lights, and my own memories flashed before my eyes. Hal says the statue has never opened its eyes before, despite Hornfeld's best efforts. The Adelbrock. Okay. The Nomai text in the observatory talks about cal calibrating some sort of device on the Adelrock. Sounds like Esker is still stationed on the Outer Rock. They've been there by themselves for a while. Okay, maybe we'll go there first and then to to um, Giant Steve. Oh, I missed an entry here. A cave at the very center of Timber Hearth used by Outer Wilds Ventures to train new astronauts. If I successfully repaired another satellite for Gasan. Okay. Um. Rumor mode. What is rumor mode? What? Oh, I see. I I get it. Sounds like Esker is still stationed on the Outer Rock. Been there for a long time. Okay. Um. <clears throat> the Nomai text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Outer Rock. The Nomai text... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. I get it. What is this? Oh, it's crystal. It's the, it's the, Chris, it's the anti-gravity crystal. Okay. Uh, nothing else to do but get ready to launch, I guess. Oxygen refill. Spot a tree, walk toward it, enjoy. <laughs> oh, boy. That's funny. Should I suit up for flight? Yeah, I'll suit up, I'll suit up for flight. Oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Let's... I don't think... I don't think I'm supposed to wear that for flight. Here, let's buckle up. Um, square to lift... Lift off landing camera. Oh. I can unbuckle... I can view my map with the touchpad. Oh, okay. And R2 is to hold for liftoff. Whoa! That was, uh... Sudden. Wow. Cool. We're in space. Horizontal thrust and up and down thrust. It works just like... What is, what is this? Giant's Deep. Uh, no, let's go to the Addle Rock first. Um... Where, where, where is home? Uh, oh, we have gotten very far away from Timber Hearth. I don't know where I am at. I don't want to go to Giant's Deep. I am here. Oh, I need to. I I need to turn. I need to turn more. In which direction? Oh, I don't know where I am. I don't know what I'm doing. This is. Oh, this is bad. Equip signal scope. Oh, harmonic convergence trophy. Uh, this way? Okay, I get it. I can use the signal scope to find my way. Um... Can I, 
can I can I equip my autopilot? Wait, no, no, no! Wait, why am I going backwards? Abort! 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 I gotta go forward. Um. Am I am I going the right way? I can't tell. I th I think I'm getting further from Giant Steep, but I can't tell. This feels wrong. I think I'm getting closer. It looks, it sure looks like I'm getting closer. I think this is working. Wait, isn't that a harmonica? Wait, wait, wait. What? Oh, that's the, that's. Yeah, that's Timberheart. Which makes that... Ho Hollow's Lantern? What? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go forward. Why? Why? I'm trying to... Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is awful. I have no idea what I'm doing. It says I'm getting closer to Timber Hearth. But I just, I don't know. I feel like this, I'm only making things worse. All right, all right, here we go. Here we go. Gotta get closer to Timber Hearth so that I can find that astro, that, the, the moon. I gotta go to the moon. I think this is working. Man, this is a really fast orbit. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I... I really don't feel in control right now. Stage one aligning flight trajectory. No, not the sun, not the sun. There we go, Timber Hearth. Autopilot aborted, what? All right, stage one aligning flight trajectory. Stage two, accelerating towards destination. Uh, do I need to do anything? It seems like it's getting further away. Is that just me? Nope, it's getting closer, I think. Definitely getting closer. 
Stage three, three, firing retro rockets. Not really sure why. Get really close to the sun. No, that's the interloper. Okay, all right, there we go. The Adel Rock. Uh, uh, okay, that's not good. Can I can I engage autopilot? Engage autopilot. All right, this is uh, challenging. Accelerating towards destination. All right, this is going well, I think. Firing retro rockets. Oh. For landing. I get it. I get it. Autopilot complete. What? Oh, wait, I want to I want to go. I want to go there. I want to land. Wait, what? What happened? How do I land? Oh, landing mode. Am I, did I land? Did I, did I do it? Did I do it? I think I did it. Okay. That was, uh, challenging. Um. Whoa! Wait, what? No, 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 no. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Okay, cockpit view. Unbuckle. Now I can move around. Okay. And I can open. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a. <laughs> I almost died because I didn't put on my suit. <laughs> Amazing. All right, here we are on the Adel Rock. Now I gotta find my guy. Okay. Unidentified signal nearby. Uh. Signal scope. Hmm. Okay. Um. Oh. Sounds. Hang on. Trees detected oxygen. Oh, that sign wasn't messing around. Oh, that's what that whistling was. Hello, Esker. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Was that you whistling? Probably, or actually definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with the signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. The North Pole is marked in red on your mini-map, but the Adel Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north. You can't miss it. Don't go! Uh, I, I mean, is there anything else you wanted to ask? Oh, he's lonely. Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control. Hornfels and Gosan, mostly. And they radio up to chat it now and then. And when the ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. Did they forget about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system, let alone our village. Don't go! Uh, I mean, is there anything else you wanted to ask? Um, wait, hang on. I wanted to do the other answer. You spy on us? What? Uh. What? No, it's not spying. It's it's one-way communication that none of the villagers know about. Because I never told them. <laughs> this guy is, uh... This guy is a little sus. Don't go! Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, he always says that. Um... What is this place? Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Oh, stars above, you're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. 
<sighs> Welcome to Lunar to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started the Outer, wi Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tend tended to uh, fall apart a lot, like more than they do now. Using the outpost cuts down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here raising saplings from timber hearth and keeping an eye on things. Hmm. Okay. So... I updated my ship log, but... Is there nothing else of value here? Uh... Oh, hang on. Um, hello. Um, I'm trying to figure out which way to the... Oh, the North Pole's this way. Okay, I understand how the map works now. I understand now. Oh, hello. They actually put a thing here so that I would know. Esker's signal scope log. Day 48. Still not picking up Bria Beck's banjo from, Biddle, from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51. Listen to Chirp play, play for a while. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and, and Gosan that their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. <laughs> Day 55. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Bria Beck's doing okay. That oaf. I was worried. Today I thought I heard something... Strange. I don't know, probably nothing. Day 70. No, it's back again today. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. It's day 88. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken? I'd better talk to, ne to Nice. Nice? Nice? Huh. Let's give it let's give things a listen. Oh wait. Wait a second. Hold on. Wait, that's that's not just me, right? You hear that. That harmonica. But he went missing. It's right there. Is there any way for me to mark that spot? I don't know if there is. Oh, whoopsie. Uh, flashlight. I think we gotta go back home for a second, guys. Gotta find what that harmonica is. Because our friend supposedly went missing. But, he, but his harmonica is playing. Just a constant tone. Uh, let's put this back. Alright. Buckle up! <clears throat> All right, let's lift off. There. Ah, shoot. Oh, shoot. Uh, where'd it go? 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 Come on, come on. Up, up. There. Come on, forward. Uh-oh. 
that's not good. Um, oh, that's really not good. Uh, what? 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 Did I just die? Uh, no, you have a bad dream or something? I won't ask you to get the... I don't know how you got the code, so hurry up and launch before Hornfels decides to ground you for medical reasons. I want to see whether the new cockpit stays attached during liftoff. Oh, jeez, that's not comforting. Um. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That asteroid just straight up killed me. Yikes. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. This is not good. This is not looking good at all. I'm kind of stuck. Exit ship to repair starboard hull damage. Okay. All right. All right. Um, whoa, jeez. Oh, jeez. They weren't kidding when they said damaged. Yikes. Ah, uh, I don't know how to deal with that. Oh, um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Um, okay, hang on, hang on. More importantly, over here. Isn't that, isn't that, hey. Hey, oh, hatchling, thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back, so I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. So what crashed? I don't know what it is exactly. It looks like some kind of plant seed, but it's not anything I've seen on Timberheart before, and trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. Do you think it's e extraterrestrial? It kind of looks like something that might have come off of Dark Bramble. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the looks of this thing, Hatchling. And that's, and that's a fact. I think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. But best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later. And no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to set anybody to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Tough can help me haul this old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside anyway. And anyway... I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. That's a good way to lose an arm or two. Interesting. Jeez. 
but it's making the harmonica frequency. Um. Oxygen tank, suit puncture, what? Suit puncture detected. Huh. Well, that's not good. Oh, I can patch it. Nice. Okay, so I can't touch the bramble. I'm not really sure what to do about the ship, though. Uh, which side is starboard again? Can't get up to it. <clears throat> That's bad. Well, might as well look around. Um, that is, I, I guess there's not much to look around, I, I guess. Um, I'm like trying to figure out where I'm supp like, like, what am I supposed to do about all this, huh? I crashed my ship. <laughs> I can't get back. I can't. I can't get it out. Like, like, what am I supposed to do about that? Can I climb these cliffs? Uh, I guess I can. Um. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh -oh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Equips oh wait, I can Oh that's bad. Can I can I can I make it back to the ship? Can I make it back in? Oh oh no oh oh that's bad. Oh okay, 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 alright, alright, that's fine. Um There we go, back in the ship. And I'm refueled and we're good to go. So uh can I can I open the hatch again? I think I have a scout launcher, actually, so I should be able to do something here. Uh, okay. Made it. Alright. Let's equip the scout launcher, shall we? And launch. What? Is that an anglerfish thing? It stopped. What? Can, what if I send it in from up above? Uh oh. Fuel depleted? How's my fuel depleted? Oh, that's bad. Okay, can I can I talk to you now? Um, blasted seed did a lot of damage when it crashed. I liked this crater. Need something from me? I threw a little scout into the seed. You did, did you? You're telling me it's bigger on the inside than on the outside? <laughs> this is going to be a chore to chop up, and no mistake. Can we even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way through? <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe I'd better grab an, ac an extra axe or three just in case. Dude. My signal scope is picking up a harmonica inside the seed. Inside the seed, huh? 
don't know what to tell you there. The only harmonica player I know is Feldspar, and they disappeared ages ago. Listen here, don't go telling Nice about the harmonica, okay? They'll never let me get rid of this darn scene if they suspect it has any musical talent. <laughs> but, dude, you're sure this scene isn't from Timberhearth? Back in my younger days, yeah. Uh, everywhere there is to go on Timberhearth and saw everything there is to see, that, and then some. Trust me, we don't, we don't have anything like this. Nah, I reckon this thing's from Dark Bramble if it's from anywhere, Hatchling. Okay, um... Problem is, I don't have a way to get back to the ship. That's bad. Like, the ship's all the way up there. I'm losing... Like, like it's using oxygen as propellant. But I... That doesn't work with the level of gravity on this planet. Uh, oh, no. I don't know if I can get back to the ship at all. What am I supposed to do? I got myself stuck. That's not good. Um, options? Um... Um, this is not what I wanted. Um, how do I go back? Oh, no. Oh, no. How do I undo that? How do I undo that? Up thrust should be... Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Good, good, good. good. Okay, I fixed it. Um... I guess I can just, like... Nope. Can't press that button to get out of this. Um, what is it? Square? No? Circle? Oh, circle. Got it. I'm not used to PlayStation. Uh, like, I, I have this PlayStation, but, like, I'm used... I'm so used to Nintendo stuff, you know? Um, I'm playing this on PS5, just in case you weren't aware. Um, okay, so I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Like, do I have to kill myself in order to... I mean, I, I guess I could do that. I could, like, throw myself off of a high place. Or not. Can I touch this? Yep. There's... I, 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 I can't hover anymore. I can't do anything. I'm stuck. Can I can can I die? Can I touch this thing and die? Come on. I'm trying to die. Ah! I can't do it. It's not doing anything. Oh no! What am I supposed to do? Wait, can I walk along this thing? Maybe, I, maybe, maybe there might be a way out of this, guys. There might be a way out of this for me. If I can just jump. Okay. All right. All right. If I can. J oh my goodness! Stop. Come on, walk. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my. Why? Why? All right. Very carefully. Very carefully. I gotta get out of this crater. there. Made it. Alright. We're out. We're out. And we're heading in the direction of the South Pole. 
I'm not really sure if that's a good thing or not. But I couldn't get back to the ship, so gotta go somewhere. Whoa, what? Wait, is this... This is just the village. Huh. Guess I made it... Guess I made it back to the village. Alright, I'll take it. Hi, friends. Hornfells? Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. Bet you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? Ugh, me too. I'm not, it's not even a, I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with the statue. Is there something you needed? Uh, tell me more about Feldspar. Feldspar was one of the four founding members of Outer Wilds, along with our flight coach, Gusan, Slate the Engineer, and me. As ground control and later the museum curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slate and Gasson did. I can tell you Feldspar was absolutely fearless, though. Nothing scared them. Test pilot every... Test piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Feldspar had lived to see space, frankly. But they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. And then one day, they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened, or where Feldspar went, or even whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since they left. Is there something you need? No thanks, I'm good. Um... Hey, I was just about to come find you. Hey, look, 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 you've got to see this. The Nomai statue's eyes are open. They, uh, used to be closed. Probably should have started with that. And now they've opened. We're not sure why they opened, since no one actually saw it happen, but this is huge news. Someone should tell... Uh, should someone tell Gabbro? Or maybe Riedek? Oh, stars, this is so exciting, it's making my stomach hurt. Uh, okay. Not really sure. I, I mean, I, I gotta talk to someone who's gonna help me with, like, getting my ship. I'm not really sure where I where they where I'm supposed to go. I'm kind of in a pinch here. <laughs> like I I can't get back to the ship. <laughs> Is there anywhere I can refuel? Can I talk to Slate? Will he help me? Oh, hold up. You're going to want to get the launch codes from the observant I oh my goodness. How did I get back here? Trust me, with the modifications I made to those rockets, there's no way I would have missed that. But 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 hold on. My ship isn't here though. What? Yeah, no, it's not here. What am I supposed to do? I need I need fuel if I'm gonna get back to the ship. Like I literally don't have anywhere that I can go. Ooh, maybe I can die if I jump from here. Yes. Good. Good. Yes. Back up to the launch tower. Actually, maybe I can just jump from here. Or not. Uh... Okay, this is a problem. If I can't kill myself, then I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, I don't want to go to the observatory, but I guess I have to go up there in order to get somewhere where I can die. I'm, oh, maybe I can go to the Zero-G cave. And maybe, maybe, maybe they'll be able to refuel me there. At this point, this has turned into a bit of a disaster run, hasn't it? Um, danger ghost matter. What? Ghost matter? What is that? Y 
You're back awfully soon. Everything all right? Slate didn't do anything dumb like install a self-destruct button, did they? Oh, boy. That's, that's... Oh, boy. Um... Not really sure what I'm supposed to do about this. I need fuel. Oh gosh, the gravity. Oh, oh. Okay, the. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I, are you kidding me? I can't even... I can't do anything with this? Oh, no. No. So I'm just screwed. I'm, I'm just screwed. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to Google this. Outer wilds ship stuck no fuel Uh here we go. Reddit. I'm lost in space without out without fuel in my suit and my ship is three miles away. I found a room with trees, but I'm kinda stuck. I'm new, please don't spoil things. Give it like 20 minutes or so. Things should work itself out. I don't think this is a spoiler, but you're asking, so you probably can't get back to your ship, but you should explore where you currently are. Okay. Well, that's not good. I mean, I know that there's that asteroid way out in space. I know there's that asteroid way out in space that's supposed to destroy everything, but, like... Oh, oh, shoot. I'm going back down. Uh, whoopsie. <laughs> so, how am I supposed to... I mean, if I can't get out into space, is that asteroid going to do destroy us, or is it not going to strike unless I get out there? Um... Okay, let me check my uh, my map. Hourglass Twins, Dark Bramble. Yeah, no, there's no asteroid to be seen. No asteroid anywhere to be seen. Um, that's not good. That's very bad, as a matter of fact. Zoom. I can zoom the view with the elves. Can. Um... That's, yeah, that's not great. That's not great at all. Boy, I don't like that. Oh, oh. I've done this like three times now. This is, this is going great. Look, I, I just want to see what this game has to offer. Is that so much to ask? I just want to get out of here, but I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. Uh, like, literally all my movement is the oxygen right now because I'm in my suit. What is this ghost matter nonsense? Uh, what is that? What is th what? What is that? Vitals critical. What? 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 I don't know what that was about, but you know what? I died, which is great, because it means I can try again. So this time when I respawn, ugh, man, what is that anyway? What is that? Oh, I bet that's the bramble. Okay. 
So, all right. Okay, um, let's just get out of here. Um, <clears throat> not really sure where I want to go first. Um, buckle up. And, uh, I, I want to sort of plan this out. Um, obviously there's the interloper, which will strike and destroy everything if I'm on this planet, or the, or the moon, or whatever. Um, I don't know what that dark matter situation was. Gotta, I want to find the answer to that. That's the dark bramble where the, where the thing is from, where the seed is from. Um... Why is Pan... These map controls need a lot of work. Hang on a second here. Hang on a second here. General... Uh, primary interact, secondary interact, view map. Uh, no. Um, movement. Equipment. Flight. Ah, this is not helping. Okay. Why are the map controls so terrible? Like, 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 it's not just me, right? Zoom view is on the same control as pan view, which just doesn't seem right, you know? Anyway, um, so I'm on Timber Hearth, and I want to be, uh, not a brittle hollow. I want to go to the, to the water planet thing. Giant's Deep. Yeah. I'm supposed to talk to someone here. Okay. Great. Okay. So, let's launch. Um, wait, hold for liftoff. What? Did I change that control? Did I change that control? It's not... Liftoff is not supposed to be L. Is that what, what I messed... Did I mess that up? Oh, I totally messed that up, didn't I? Preflight checklist. Wait, pre-flight checklist? Interesting. Um, okay, um, controls. Let's see here. Um, movement. Move x-axis, move y-axis. Is this what, did I mess this up? I don't think so. It's flight, right? Up thrust, yeah. Up thrust should be um, this. There we go. That might fix. It. I think that should fix it. Let's launch. Okay. Um. Now, check the map. map. That's the interloper. Okay, um, I need to go to Giant's Deep right here. Okay. Alright. Now. Oh, there's Giant's Deep. Right there. Let's engage autopilot. Aligning. 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 And now we're accelerating towards it. Fantastic. Huh. Okay, manually controlling the ship, very difficult. Activating autopilot, much easier. Firing retro rockets so that we can land. What is that thing flying around it? Kind of want to know what that is. What is that? Autopilot complete. Can I can I enter landing mode? Um down thrust. Up thrust, up thrust. Up thrust, up thrust. Oh boy. Can I can I move? 
Oh man, we gotta find a place to land. We don't wanna just land on some random area. We don't wanna hit a storm. Uh, oh, is there something over there? Oh my. That can't be good. This, this looks like something familiar, like something. Hmm. I don't really want to land there though. Is there anywhere like solid land that's safe for me to land on? What is this place? What is this? And why is this piece of land, like, moving a lot? Um... Okay, uh, cockpit view, put away. What on earth am I looking at? Uh, I need to put my suit on before I do that. Little scout. See beyond the horizon, illuminate dark areas, detect hazards the environment. Interesting. Whoa. What is all this? Danger ghost matter. Is the trees detected oxygen tank refilled? But I want to know if this ghost matter is dangerous. Like, I want to know if that's what killed me last time. Oh, no. That's... That can't be good. That can't be good at all. Uh... Oh. Uh-oh. Are we in trouble? That's my ship, so that's good. Um. <clears throat> Whoa. Vital's critical. What? What? So, I guess I can't go near Ghost Matter. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's try this again. <clears throat> I think my goal is to find where our guy is on that planet. So let's buckle up, hold for liftoff, and get out into space. That planet should be right nearby. There it is. Autopilot. Accelerating. Now, firing retro rockets. And it's going to bring us right in here. Okay, I think we got to go to the other... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. 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 I can't see anything. Oh, we're in the we're in the planet now. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna find a place to land and then use my um, signal scope again. There's something here. What is that? Cockpit view. Whoa. Uh, okay. Um, put away. Unbuckle. Suit up. Open hatch. Unidentified signal nearby. Signal scope. Aha! This is exactly where I want it to be. Look at that, it's Gabro. We found him. Nice, it's you. Good to, see, good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty wild. What? <laughs> what about you? Have you died lately or is it just me? We're in a time loop! Time has been behaving unusual lately. Yeah, a time loop makes sense. Cool. What is with this guy? What is this guy's deal? <laughs> You're taking this pretty well. What did you think it was? What did you think it was? I want to know what he thought it was. I figured it'd be some kind of fidgety time business, but I wasn't really thinking about what's happening into the shape of time, you know? But a loop makes sense here. Let's go with loop for now. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfells and asking if they'd died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they never remember by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to this big stone Nomai statue that I found on the on one of the other islands. I was looking at it, and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like it did, like I, like it had seen through them, through, through my own eyes, just like what happens each time I die. That happened to me with the statue at the museum. You too, huh? The no, the no, my statues must have. This wind is ridiculous. What? 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 Ship log updated. Wait, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? What? Um, what? Dude? Yo? Yo? What was that? And now we're underwater? What? Have you ever watched a cyclone for so long it started to hypnotize you? I'm telling you, they put you in a trance if you stare at them long enough. How's face treating you? Nice. What, what you got for me? Actually, never mind. What? What? Oh, this planet's weird. What? Um, <clears throat> what's up with this planet? Ha, I know, right? Oh, you meant, like, tell you more about it? I gotcha. Well, Giant's Deep is massive and mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current a ways beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I tried everything I could think of to get past the current, and neither idea worked. As for land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one. There's also the one with the Nomai statue I saw on the beach. You've seen the cyclones? Yeah, they're pretty hard to miss. They'll toss everything in their path, islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in water. Less likely to kill you. How's space treating you? I found something. Uh, what are you doing out here? Where should I explore on Giant Steep? I found your ship. Oh, he lost his ship? Okay. What are you doing out here? Well, what are any of us doing here, really? Is this guy, like, high? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system, same as you. But I tell you what, outer space really gives you room to think. It's quiet and peaceful out here. I mean, it's usually quiet and peaceful. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then, less peaceful. Where should I explore? Here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. What? What else? What else? Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it, and seeing as it's the island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way, 
when the whole glowy business happened, by the way. It's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabbro relaxation scale. If you feel like checking out the Statue Island, it's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Well, mostly connected anyway. You'll see. Okay. Found your ship. I did not find his ship. Um, where... Okay, um... See you later. Okay, cool. Take it easy out there. Wait, is that it? Is that... Is that it? Is that the one? Here's the definition of take it easy. Proceed calmly and in a relaxed manner. Okay, I, I should probably stay here and, like, get back to my ship and take that ship to go explore the other area. That's probably the better idea. All right. Let's go back in the ship. All right, let's buckle up. <coughs> oh wait, uh, hold on. Uh, did I did I take off my my suit? Yeah, return the suit. All right, buckle up. Nope, buckle up. I said I'm still getting used to the controls. And let's lift off. Whoa, yikes! Hang on a second here. Gotta, gotta get, land up right. And move over here. And now lift off. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's hit landing mode. Um, okay. We gotta find that island with the natural stone arch. Oh, here it is. There's a Nomai statue somewhere on this island. The problem was there was ghost whatever here. So how am I supposed to explore it? Uh-oh. That can't be good. Okay. Hmm. Cockpit view. Uh, let's let's unbuckle. Let's check it out again. Suit up. Oh wait, I can send my my, my scout. Nice. Okay. Whoop! Did not mean to do that. Open the hatch. Come on. Come on. Okay. What on earth? Okay, let's equip the scout launcher and send it out that way. Um, um okay. Can I send it down? Is that okay? I... What is ghost matter? Am I supposed to be able to walk through here? So I had to find the correct way. Understood. So now that we're through here, we can explore the rest of this area. Um, okay, I think this is this looks like a dead end, so I don't think I can get through there anymore. Yep, definitely a dead end. So we got, I gotta jump to the to this landmass over here. Here we go. Nice. Oh, ghost matter? Uh-oh. That can't be good. Um, do I have to, like, hover over over the stuff? I kind of don't want to go through here. Can I launch my scout? How 
What is this ghost matter business? I don't understand. Um, okay, let's put that away. Let's try the signal scope. Nothing. Esker? What? What? Uh-oh. to land. Okay. Oh wait, Esker's the one who whistles. Okay. That's what that is. So that's not what, what I'm looking for right now. So basically... Uh, I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go from here. Oh, wait! Ship? That's not my ship, is it? It wasn't my ship, is it? My ship was further away. Um. Alright, so I know, I, I know I'm supposed to avoid the ghost matter. I'm just not sure how. Aha! I think I'm okay. I can light the campfire. Interesting. Okay. Now, what is this thing? Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no! Ugh! matter. Okay, well, not really sure what that was all about. Okay, just gotta go back there and try again. Um, just gotta try again. Buckle up and lift off. Okay, are we in space yet? We're in space. Gauge autopilot. Aligning. And here we go. And now we wait. And now we wait. So I don't know what the deal was with that area. But I'm supposed to check out this thing that's floating around the... That's, hover, that's like over here as well. So um, let's, let's abort autopilot right real quick. And let's fly around and try to get to that thing. Aha! Yes. This thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Autopilot. Uh, X to match velocity. X to match velocity. Velocity matched. All right. Let's get there. Uh, was I not supposed to match the velocity, though? I can't tell what's happening. Oh, boy. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna catch- if I'm- if I can catch it like this. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
No. Uh, no. <laughs> Shit. Fine. Autopilot it is. Whatever. Alright. Alright. Accelerating towards destination, but the problem is we gotta get to that thing. Firing retro rockets abort. And come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah, whoa! What? On Earth? What? There was a glowing thing there. What is that? I'm just not sure how I'm supposed to... Okay. Um... Oh, here we go. Oh! That's bad. Oh, that's very bad. The landing gear is damaged. That's... That can't be good. Alright, alright. Gonna have to back away. Alright, um... Let's... Unbuckle. Put on the suit. And open the hatch. Okay. Now, where am I supposed to do my repairs? Um. How am I supposed to fix this thing? I don't see the problem. Oh, wait. Uh, that's a problem. Wait a second. Wait, why are we going into the... Uh-oh. That can't be good. At all. This seems bad. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Uh, back in the ship, back in the ship! Oh boy. Headlights damage, port hull damage. Um, I think port is left. Um, I think port means left. Landing gear is damaged and the cockpit is damaged, so none of that is good. Um... Okay, uh, let's head back out. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ha I have to repair it. Oh, shoot. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Um, not good. You know what? Actually, no, I... Can, can we close the hatch? Okay, guess not. I'm, I'm going back in. I'm going back in. I'm going to try and move the ship back into space. Return the suit. Back, buckle up. And... Come on, come on. Gotta take off. Gotta get off this planet. Gotta, gotta get into space. Gotta escape its gravity. Oh, hello. That's the interloper. Okay. Um, are we far enough away? Yeah, I think we are. Okay. Now, gotta do my repairs. Suit up. Open hatch. little worried about the fuel. Okay. First things first. That's the cockpit. There's 
There's damage to the headlight there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Why can't I... Come on. Gosh. No, 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 no. Okay. Cockpit repaired. That's good. Headlight? Come on. Okay, okay, come on down. Gotta repair the headlight. Gotta repair the headlight. Up, 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 up. It's almost, it's almost, I almost got it. Come on. Just a little bit. Up. And. All right. One. Come on. Get a little closer. And 99%. Got it. Okay. Headlights repaired. Next. Um. Where's the next repair? Man, I really thought it was going to highlight it when when doing these things um i need to get back in the ship i'm running out of fuel and oxygen how do i refuel uh that's not what i wanted that's not what i wanted um return the suit how do i refuel is it is it refueled is it refueled it's not refueled that's not good uh what's left um port Hull. Okay, so I gotta exit, and then if it's if it's if it's port, then that means it's on it's to the left of the of the. It should be. Oh wait, wait, where is? that sound shoot 50% fuel that's not good I don't see where it's damaged is there anyone with me who can tell me like where it is oh wait 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 I got it I got it I fixed it I fixed the ship excellent Excellent. Okay. Now let's buckle up and get back to it. <clears throat> Alright. We have gotten very far away at this point. Like, where am I? Where are we? Is it just me or is this not saying where we are? Autopilot aborted. Engage autopilot. Aligning trajectory. Oh, man. This is difficult. Okay. Excel. Okay. We're going in the, we're in the right direction now. Everything is okay. Oh, boy. This is really involved. Okay, um, the good news is um, I've, there's actually a thing here that shows where all the parts are, and I didn't notice. So, next time if there are issues, I'll be able to reference that and figure out where I'm supposed to fix. Now, exploring Giant's Deep is getting difficult. But I think that everything I found the last time carries over. So I'm, I'm going to try and talk to um, Gabro again and see if he knows anything. Why am I firing... Re Why is it firing retro rockets? I'm not even close to it. Eh, I'm not going to question it. Um... But I do really... I, I, I don't know. 
I'm, I, I don't quite understand what exactly it wants me to do with the thing that's out in space. Like, am I supposed to get out of my ship? Am I supposed to match velocity and then get out of the ship? And explore it? Like that? Like, I, I, don't, I don't get it. Either way, once we get close and it gives me the option, I'm gonna... Actually, yeah, I gotta wait for it to get close so that I can turn on my landing cam. And then we can... What is that? Oh, is that where I was before? Autopilot complete. Go into landing mode. And let's head down, to, down towards the surface. All right. Uh, oh, 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 no, 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 no. We don't want to be under the water. We do not want to be under the water. Um, where was that landmass? Here it is. Um, there's definitely something here. So I would like to land and check that out. Um, uh, can I, can I unbuckle? Okay. Thing is, I'm still low on fuel, and I'm not sure what to do about that. So, oh, wait a second. Is it just me, or is this a translator? Um, it doesn't give me the option to equip the translator, so I don't know what I can do with this, actually. But this is definitely something. Okay, um, I probably shouldn't be on the cliff, but I do, I just, I don't, what is this place? Okay, gravity is extra strong here, so that's something. If gravity is extra strong here, what does that mean for me? Oh, wait, there's more. There's a lot more to explore. Trees detected. Fantastic. There's, like, torches. Wow. There's a lot here. Oh, is this the arch that he was talking about? Is this... This is the place that he was talking about, not the other place with the ghost thing. This is where he wanted me to explore. Oh, wow, there's a lot here. And I can translate this. Uh, R1 to translate? They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flock says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. Memory statues. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? What? Flock specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, Lam Lamy, but that's a huge risk to, to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flox will take. let us see a later test. Interesting. Very interesting. Ship log updated. Good. Um. Okay, um... Can't. Oh, Bing bingo. We're good, we're good. All right, um, there's another glowy thing over here. I guess that text was supposed to be... Oh, wait, that's right, these crystals, I can walk here. So long as I'm near the crystals, I can walk. Uh-oh. Uh, there. Nice. Okay, this is really cool. Alright, alright. Ship log updated. Oh, this is, this is the statue he was talking about. And its eyes are open. And I can't get, to this, get through that door. Oh, wait, what's this? Translation. Statue workshop. Really? Okay, I'd like... Okay, so I'm going to have to move the ship to get over there. Uh, but now i got to walk all the way back to the ship. That's unfortunate. Kind of wish I didn't have to deal with that. But what are you going to do? Oh, boy, the water. Uh, the water makes me a bit nervous. 
Um, let's get up here and go back to where we came from. Um, was I already down here, though? Oh, I can launch the scout. That's what it wants me to do. Um, um, take a snapshot. Okay. I can look around. Um, interesting. All right. <clears throat> Let's retrieve the scout. And what if we send it down here? Okay. So I can take all these pictures, and I have to figure out what this place is. And probably find some kind of information um, in order to discover what this place is for. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, wait. Does it want me to launch it over there? Oh, that can't be good. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. We're in space. We're in space because of the water. Is there... underwater, I think. Okay. Um, I don't see anything of particular note as far as I can tell. Um, what else can I... Oh, wait! There's a wall there. I, want, I definitely want to see that wall. Or what's on the other side of it. Yeah. Take a snapshot. Tur rotate. Um... Um, uh-oh. I can't, I can't see anything from here. Uh. Oh, wait. Oh, I gotta get the scout closer. Gotta get it closer. A little closer. Uh, right there. Uh, darn it. That's not right. I mean, can I even translate from the scout? I, I don't think it's going to give me the option. I think I have to get down there myself. Somehow. What is this? Memory statue. Um, okay, so the memory statue... Oh, wait, there's another statue down there. Oh! Wait, so how do I get down there? Oh, boy. Um, okay. So I definitely have to get down there somehow. Um, I think this, I was, this was actually supposed to be my hint for it. Go underwater? Oh, hi. Hey, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the stream, Rubius Potter. Go underwater, can't translate with Scout. Go underwater. Okay. Understood. Um, now, considering... Oh, my fuel's... Uh, somehow I refueled my, uh, my fuel. It didn't refuel when I was in my ship before, so I'm not sure how that works. But... I, uh, I will... Uh, I'm going to make my way back now. Um, okay. Okay. I'm gonna go grab my ship and use that. That seems safer. Actually, no. I don't think I can use my ship for that. I don't think that's gonna work. Okay. Alright. Underwater it is. Alright. Okay, there's that current. Uh, fuel is not refueled. Oh, it's not. You're right. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Thanks for the heads up.
Um, I, okay, I can get back on land from here. Fuel is not refueled. Okay. Have you played this game before? Um, this is my first time playing it. What is this thing? What is this? I do not know what this is. But I think I can climb these stairs to get back up to where my ship is. Awesome. That? Oh, that seems bad. I, I... Oh, I can get across here, so that's good. Um... All right. Okay. Now, and from here, I can get back to where I was. Perfect. Wait. Wait a second. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, man. Darn it. Did I die? Yeah, I've died a few times. I did not realize that the asteroid was coming at me from the, on this planet as well. So, I'm going to have to go back there now. No. <laughs> it's good to have you here, Rubius. What did I learn so far? Um, I learned that the guy on... Uh, what was his name again? Um, that um, Gabro uh, has also seen that statue. And that it's a memory statue. And they were using it for, for something. Not really sure what yet. I haven't learned all that much, despite the length of time I've been playing for. A lot of this playthrough so far has been me getting very lost and um, getting my ship stranded in places. Wait. Why should I wait? my spacesuit on. I'm in the ship. I'm safe. I'm in the sh I'm safe in my ship. At least as far as I'm aware. I mean, so far I've been okay. I haven't needed to put my spacesuit on until I, you know, leave the ship. Um, I mean, unless there's something you know that I don't, um, I don't, I don't know if I'm, if, if I can, if I might, like, I don't know, fall too much, or, you play it safe? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I, w I wasn't sure if maybe I could, I would, I would, like, I, I, like, like, maybe my, my, though, something would hit my windshield and I would go flying out of my ship. Or something. Also, what is the deal? Is this Gabro's ship? Should I, like, leave my ship to check this one out? Um. I'm, I mean, I don't have anywhere to land, but I guess my ship would be okay in the water, probably. That doesn't seem particularly safe, though. So, I, I kind of... Nothing to check out? Okay. So I should probably go find Gabro at some point and um, tell him that I found his ship. I did see that that was a dialogue option, but it wasn't true at the mo at the time, so I didn't say it. Um, okay, this is where I was. This is where I was. Um, okay. So I was over here... I need to use my ship to go underwater. Okay. Um, I should probably switch to my cockpit view once I hit the water, though. So let's do that. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, oh, geez. Um, can I, can I... There we go. There we go. Now I can unbuckle, put on my spacesuit, and head out. Fantastic. 
Wow, look at this place. And there's another memory statue over there. Um, okay. Oh, hello. Cool. Now it's feeling like some Zelda nonsense. Oh, and now I can go in and out. Fantastic. Awesome. But not on multiple playthroughs, obviously, so I'm gonna have to, like, do this every time. <laughs> Um, oh, wow, there's more statues. This one, although I don't think these are memory statues exactly. These are just statues of the, um, I forget what they called them again. Okay. On the bright side, I've refueled. I used up a lot of fuel last time because I broke my ship. <laughs> okay, so this is a diagram showing that things have to point at one another. Okay. Untranslated Nomai recording. Oh, it's a recording. Yaro, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? Yeah, the Nomai. That, thank you. <laughs> um, so that's that. Would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. Okay. Um, oh, I can see how its eyes have opened. That tells us the statue has paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in this star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Phlox. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a, signal, a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Each storage will be equipped with ma with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those storage stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. Okay, so there's a, a mask, the statue's counterpart. So, the, so that means there should be a mask that goes with the statue that's on the home world. That's on my home world. Um, that's interesting. Okay, so... I don't really know exactly what that mask is, per se. There has been, Oh, I should also mention, there, there have been a few times where I found this, um... Ghost Force thing that kills me instantly. So, I'm not really sure what that's about. What is that? Oh, wait. Pick up the projection stone. Whoa. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project flocks. They, they look beautiful, although I feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know that the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds, as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin Project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be impossible. It would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Uh. So, if I'm reading into this correctly, if I'm reading into this correctly, things have gone wrong, and my final playthrough is going to be when I'm aware of all those things, and I'll be able to use memories of things that have not happened, actually, to fix the problems. I, or at least that's the purpose of this whole system, I think? I also don't quite understand what these discs are, but whatever. Oh! Oh, oh, I need this. Whoa. Whoa! What? What? Okay, um... There's one, two, two, one. 
Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Holy. That was kind of terrifying. What? Uh, okay. If I approach it again... Like, do I have to memorize that? The th okay, three eyes. Three eyes. They all have three eyes. Um. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is this, like, the number of, of statues I have to find? I think that's the number of statues I need to find or something. No? Okay. Well, that's 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 okay. Whoops! Whoops! Did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Okay, back in the ship, back in the ship. Check out the name of the thing I placed it into. Okay, alright. Um, okay, hold on. One second. The the lights the, the lights coming into the room in a really blinding way. One second. Alright. Got it. Alright, let's check out the name of the thing I placed it into. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm still zero gravity. Still zero gravity. That's not good. Okay. Oh, shoot! Oh, no. Um, yeah, if you could tell me, that would, that would be... If you could, if you, know, if you could tell me, that would be helpful. Because <laughs> I just kind of died. <laughs> what, what was it called? What was it called? <clears throat> the projections. Oh, projection stone. Gotcha. Okay. So base. Oh, so it was just a projection. Okay. I understand. Engaging autopilot. And off we go. Alright, so I'm sure that'll make more sense as time goes on but my assumption is that that is like the number of statues that have been activated other worlds um you're very early in my playthrough so this is the only one i've explored besides like the moon uh which i don't remember what it's called actually if i um what was it called again uh the addle rock i explored yes thank you Um, oh boy. I need to turn on landing mode. Um, okay. Landing mode. Let's see. I think, was that everything I had to find in that particular place? Um, if there's more, I'll go back. But if not, I mean, I do, oh wait, there's something here. Okay. Um... So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna check out this area, but I do want to go back to Gabro. Oh wait, is this where Gabro is? This is where Gabro is. Okay. Check the logbook. I will check the logbook. Hey, oh, but time, buddy. It's a good thing I never get bored of rain. I found something. Nice, what you got for me? I reached the inside of Statue Island. So the Nomai created those head statues to record memories, huh? Yeah, I could see the Nomai doing that. Not sure what for, but it seems like their sort of thing. Do you think the statues are recording memories then? Because I remember that one on the beach looked looked at me funny. Must, that must be my memory friend. 
Hello again, again. <laughs> um, how do you stay so calm in the face of repeated impending death? <laughs> Deep breaths. No, seriously, I meditate. Want me to teach you? It'll be the next loop before you know it. Sure. Okay, close your eyes. What? Wait, what's happening? No! Wait, no, no, wait, 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 no! No, no, please tell me! No! Did he kill me? Did... Did he kill me? Secret way to immediately restart... Ah! I didn't want that! No! Oh, man. That sucks! There was, like, no warning for that at all. I meditated until the impending doom. Great. Real helpful. <laughs> I mean, I, I can see why it might be helpful sometimes, but, like... I really wish it had warned me about that. That is... Oh, that's frustrating. I was trying to talk to him! Ah, uh, man. Landing mode. Alright, I'm just gonna wait for... I'll just, uh, let's approach. Alright. Oh, really? That's good to know. I did find a place where I was able to light a campfire on this planet. Um, but I didn't actually end up lighting it. Because, you know... I didn't have a reason to. Um, but I am just going to pop on my suit. And head on it out. Whoops. Is there a way to sprint or something? Or do I only have one, um, one speed? What is the deal with this stuff? Um, if it isn't my time, buddy, how's space treating you this loop? Um, what are you doing out here? Uh, where should I explore? What's up with this planet? I found your ship. Oh, cool. So, so it's floating in the ocean, huh? Did it look like it was having a good time? What? He doesn't care. Does he have no- he Uh, okay, so he has nothing important for me. That's good to know. Fastest way to move is to fly from place to place with my jetpack. How do I refuel my jetpack? Is there a way to refuel my jetpack? Because I have not figured that out. From what I can tell, it does not refuel when I come in here. Oh, here's the ship lock. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I guess I should have told you I also found the bramble seed. Wow. I have actually discovered quite a bit. Um. So, let's see here. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within the within Ash Twin. Yes, yes, on my home planet. Um, oh, is that it? Um, oh, I can switch it to map mode? Rumor mode, okay. Um, oh, I can mark locations, that's nice. Um... Let's view the entry for Statue Island. This island must be where the Nomai Statue is. Not a fan of map mode. Yeah, I don't I don't blame you. This this makes it very clear how everything connects. Um I found a Nomai statue lying on the beach. It looks just like the one in our observatory. Statue workshop. Uh oh. Uh 
Uh, did we did we disconnect for a second there? Are we are, are we good? I'm gonna pop. Whoop! Gonna pop out this chat again. Um, I think I think I think we might have disconnected for a second there, but I think we're good now. Should be good now. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Uh, know My Statue is designed to pair with a single user, record their memories, and send those memories to a storage unit within the Ash Twin project. Each storage unit... Whoops. What? Oh. Each storage unit inside the Ash Twin project was, escaped, was equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which could then send those stored memories back to the corresponding user. The statues were designed to only activate once the Ash Twin project succeeded or in the event that it failed. Saved by my Wi-Fi powers. Yes. Exactly. Um, let's see here. Um, Gabros yeah, Island. Oh my. Um, okay. Uh, oh, okay, got it. Orbital flash, what is... Gabro sees a bright flash in the sky at the start of every loop. Something must be happening in orbit around Giant's Heap. I, I guess I'm going to have to get out of my ship while it's in orbit in order to explore that, but I really don't want to... I'm, I'm a little worried about that. Um, ocean Depths. Gabro yeah, says there's a strong current beneath the surface of the ocean that prevents anything from sinking below it. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how to get past that either. Lunar Ruins. The Nomai text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Addle Rock. Wait, it did? did I, was I not paying attention to that? <laughs> I guess not. Um, oh, there's a lot to do. Wow. Esker's Camp. Um, probably been on the moon for too long. Um, Lunar Lookout. Okay, uses their signal scope here to keep tabs on other travelers. Dark Bramble Seed. A seed from Dark Bramble crashed here. It's already taking root. Tektite wants to use a scout launcher to get a look at what's inside. My signal scope picks up a harmonica when I look at it. I launched my little scout in, into the seed. Somehow the seed is much bigger on the inside. It's a TARDIS. That's the answer. When I launch my scout into the seed that crashed on Timber Hearth, it ends up in a much bigger space filled with fog and thorny vines. Which is weird. Okay. Um, so, I think the next most obvious thing to do is to explore the orbital flash. Um, I think that's what makes the most sense at this point. So I'm going to have to buckle up and take off. And I'm going to have to risk death. That's the only way this is going to work. Wait. What's the problem? What's up? Do you have do you have a suggestion? Oh, oh shoot! Is that heading into the sun? Oh, is that why that happens? No, it's not heading into the sun. Okay, we're we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Fastest way to figure out the orbital flash is to rest at a campfire. It is? Uh, okay. Well, I know where I can do that. Immediately go into space when I wake up. Okay. I can... I can, I can do that. But the orbital flash happens too fast for me to see it like from space so but i trust you i do trust you no 
Okay. So now I gotta activate my landing mode and head down to the planet. Park the ship close to the campfire. Okay. And up. Okay. Now let's see here. Um. Wait, what is this? This is another one of those gravity platform things. This seems new. I don't think I explored this. Whoa! Uh-oh. This seems new. Um... There's nowhere for me to land, though. Oxygen tank damage, that's not good. Oh boy, oh boy. Um. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, I'm really bad at controlling the ship. I I should have I should have mentioned that probably. But uh. Oh uh oh, that's not good. Eh, if we if we die or if the controller dies, I I know how to I I have more. Um, okay, let's uh, pop on the suit and you know see what I can do. Whoa, okay, that's that was uh, hmm, okay, that's not good. I guess I'm gonna have to try to move the ship first. Um. Uh oh. So I, I I don't think I can. I don't think I can move the ship. Actually, I think I think we're screwed. I did not mean to do that. Uh. That's bad. That's bad. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm not really sure what what on earth? Anti-gravity shenanigans? Oh, it's made of those crystals. Whoa. This is cool. This is very cool. So I assume I gotta walk over here. And then. What is this? It's a skeleton. I can pick up the scroll. What? Oh. Oh! This looks like it has to do with the thing that was outside the orbit. I don't think they put it there, though. I don't think it goes there. Can I insert it here? Oh! Nice! This is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giant's Deep for assembly. Um. Oh. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Whoa. Um, are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm, d I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avins behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. If I know my brother Avins and his spouse... Well, if I know my brother, Avins and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. 
I propose we give Avins and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Uh, interesting. Um, okay, so that updates the ship log. Um... Interesting. Yo, Janine, welcome. Playing some Outer Wilds. <coughs> Have you played this a game? <laughs> welcome to the stream. I am, right now, I am solving some mysteries. Never even heard of it. Oh boy, is, oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay, um, so the planet that I'm on right now, oh, that's bad. Uh, what, wait, what? Wait, what, what is happening right now? What? What? That is very confusing. Um, anyway, I'm an alien, and I'm exploring this world and trying to solve some mysteries. But I am very confused, because I, um, I don't really know what just happened, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, so we're, I'm on a water planet where the water seems to, uh, go up and down, and there's, like, these, um, these, like, twisters that throw me around, and sometimes they'll throw entire land masses into space for a second. Oh, the platforms were just glowing. Okay. And also, gravity appears to be a lot higher on these platforms here. Not really sure why that is. But I am going to take this thing. And we're going to go back to the ship, I guess. All right. Oh, and uh, these um, platforms here are made of a crystal that is, like, anti-gravity, so I can, I can walk on it. It's pretty cool. Oh, that, that, that wasn't good. Um, my ship might still be stuck. Okay. Oh, okay. Um... Uh-oh. 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 Uh, there's a problem! There's a problem! Oh, no. I'm stuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm stuck. I'm really stuck! No! Why am I so stuck? Shoot! Now what? Boy, I really have a knack for getting myself stuck in this game. Jeez. Uh... Not really sure what to do about this. Wasting fuel? Uh, okay. Understood. This is unfortunate. This is like the, the fifth time I've gotten myself stuck in this game. Okay, well, um... Man, so close to the ship, too. That's unfortunate. Uh... Man, where'd I put... Uh, here we are. <clears throat> All right. So, how are you guys doing today? Hopefully, doing well. Um, 
honestly, this game has been really cool so far, even though it's really uh, difficult to get the hang of. Like, I don't know, the, the, the flying controls are really tough to handle because, you know, there's so many different, like, you have to worry about your orientation and which thruster you're using. <laughs> I'm just unlucky. <laughs> oh, no. No, see, I, previously, I got stuck where the bramble seed was. My ship got so stuck it couldn't get out. And then I ran out of fuel, so I couldn't, like, climb the cliffs very easily. But eventually, I found a tree that was like a, um... A tree that was like a ramp that I was able to climb out out from and I walked across the planet back to the hometown at that point and I found like one of the ghost things there and that was able to kill me and that is how I was able to die and restart um, so I am I guess I am very unlucky <laughs> whoa whoa wait 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 Wait, 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 yo, we're back in the ship, awesome, amazing, oh, that's great, refuel, wait, how do I refuel, how do I refuel, how do I refuel, Wall left of, to the left of spacesuit. Oh, oh, nice. That's very good to know. Thank you. Um, okay, let's check out the ship log. See what there is to be added. Uh, it didn't. It doesn't look like it added anything. Ocean depths. Ga Gabro says there's a strong current. Uh, no, that's not it. Um, what was it? Um. Nope, that's not it. Uh, I think it's the, um, Fisker's Camp. Uh, where, Orbital Probe Cannon. Here we go. Here we are. Marked with an orange icon. Oh, okay. I get, wasn't paying, what, didn't notice. Um, let's see here. Gabros, okay. The island, this island is where the Nomai built the orbital pro camp. There's more to explore. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to try to move the ship first. Um... Whoa. Uh, upside down. I think I'm upside down. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay. This feels more correct. Um, okay. Now, I'm not really sure if there's a good way to land anywhere around here. I guess I could... You know what? You know what? Here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. Oh, wait. Is this supposed to be a landing pad? I... Okay, that's not good. That's very bad. I know, and I know that I have, um, I have to make repairs. Okay, I did not realize this was meant to be for landing. But that's very good to know. Like, I didn't trust this pad when I first saw it. <laughs> um, okay. So now, I, I do have to repair the ship, though. Oh, okay. Thanks for joining. Um, I forgot to check what needs repairs. Um, oxygen tank and the upper hull. I might have to repair that in space. I don't know if I can reach those things. I mean, maybe, I, can, maybe, I might be able to fix the oxygen tank. Um, might be able to fix the oxygen tank. Okay, let's go. Um... Let me see here. Where where is the oxygen oxygen tank? Is it up here? 
Is this it? Nope, that's not it. Uh, is it over? Nope, that's the cockpit. So the oxygen tank should be, what, over here? Is this it? Uh, there's nothing here, so maybe there's no fixing it. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it right now. Eventually, the loop's going to restart anyway, so... Just got to explore more. Um, I'm not sure what else there is to explore here. I mean, I thought... That, I thought that, that, I, that there was something to put here, but, like... I think I put the wrong thing here. Drop scroll. No. No, 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 no. Um, okay. Okay. Gotta walk around. Um, there's some kind of loop thing here, but I'm not really sure. I don't think that's anything. I think that's just set dressing or whatever. Oh, over here. Okay. Yikes. Okay. The scroll does not fit. Equip translator. Yeah. Um... 18 minutes, 58 seconds ago, long-range probe was successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. What? Scroll does not fit. Go to space. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I can only... I, I, uh... Trace detected. Oxygen rebuild. Good, 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 good. Um... Gotta go up here. Um... Come on. Come on. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh... Gotta go to space. Go to space! Or let the mystery wait. Go into space! Whoa! What? to understand I'm not really sure what there is to understand honestly the sun just turned into a red giant like there's gonna be a supernova I'm ready to understand um that's Dark Bramble. Wait, that's Dark Bram- Dark Bramble? Wait, 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 wait. Is that- Isn't it just me, or is the Dark Bramble planet close to the- to the- Wait. Oh, shoot! Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, wow. I... I... I kind of thought there was going to be a supernova because... You know, there was a whole thing about it. About supernovas. Um, that I read in this game. So that kind of foreshadowed that there was going to be a supernova. Whoa. Whoa. Yo, that is crazy.
Wow. Wow. So the time loop is really kind of tight. Like, there's not a ton, a ton of time between, you know, the beginning of the loop and, and that happening. Wow. Go to space immediately. Go to space immediately. Go to space immediately. 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 Wait, what is that? What is that? Oh, that's the that's the hourglass twins, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still not really sure why you said to go to space immediately after restarting. Um, trying to figure that out, but I, I, I'm a little confused. Hang on a second here. Still more to explore. Okay. Well. Better buckle up. Oh. Here it is. From waking up from the campfire. Oh, oh so you, you were trying to show me the supernova, weren't you? I got you. I got you. Can I turn on my landing gear? Here we go. Oh! Here we go. Alright, I gotta find that place again. This storm is crazy, though. Very crazy. I also have not been able to figure out what the deal is with this place here. Because there's the ghost thing that kills me. Finish up Addle Rock. Oh, uh, okay. So I'll I'll do that once I'm done exploring that area that I was in. But I know that you wanted me to see the supernova, so I made sure of that. Um Okay. Here we go. Tons. Man. Yeah, no, this game's pretty cool. There's a lot. There's, there's like, a lot. <laughs> there's just a lot. Um. Okay. Gonna pick up from where I left off. Oh, wait. Wait a second. I need to go get the thing. Totally forgot to get the thing. Uh, come on. Pick up the scroll. The story of the Nomai is the best part. I'm very curious about what happened to, um... Oh, man, I forget his name. The harmonica player. There's a lot of terms and names for me that they're throwing at me to remember. It's tough to remember it all. Oh, nope. Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. Oh, here we go. Um. Here, drop. And pick up. Here we go. I have bad news, Avins. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. 
I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb in here, Cassava. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea, Idea may feel responsible. I wait. Oh wait. Oh oh um. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, no. Um. Kisaba, I wish I were my friend, but no, they aren't certain they can fix the... Oh, darn it. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on an hi indefinite hiatus. Yo! Oh, jeez. I gotta get back to the ship. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I gotta try to land in the water. Land in the water. Oh, no! Vital's critical. I know, they told me to land in the water if I could. Um, but I wasn't able to. Okay, alright, alright, alright. I gotta get back to the ship and heal up. Alright. Here's the ship. I'm gonna heal up. Everything's gonna be okay. Uh, here, here we are. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, is that everything? Nope. There's, is there still more? I think there's more. There's still more! Okay. Back out. Alright. I, I know the water is a soft landing. I just... I kind of... I was too focused on reading. Um... But that's okay. Alright. Let's try this again. Oh, wait. Does it think that I didn't read everything? No, no. We're good. We're good. Everything is translated. Um... Orbital probe cannon is on a an indefinite hiatus. Long range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. Huh. Okay. Whoa. Is this what the probe is seeing? I feel like I'm I feel like I'm looking through Latios's eyes from Pokemon. Um, okay. So, there are three stations needed that have to be activated in order to launch the probe or something. Something like that. Um, okay. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Come to think of it, there's that symbol. That symbol is on this thing. Interesting. So, am I supposed to bring this? I, I think I'm supposed to bring this thing and the other one for, that's on this planet somewhere. Maybe. Possibly. Um, 
What's over here? Oh, there's another one. Oh! Oh, wait. So, these are gonna show me different things. And now I can walk to the other side, and I can put this one into the projection stone, and it'll show me something different, I bet. Whoops. Okay. Conoy, Daz and I were lifting the orbit of and probe cannon components into the orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank beneath the current. Conoy, you should have seen it. We thought, we thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Cassava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My grat... My gratitude or your interesting question? Wait, what? My, uh, what? No, no. Um, put away. Equ I want to equip the translator. Oh, there we go. Okay. My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giants Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory. And it reveals how an object might sink below the current. I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow Gravity Cannon and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. So there's something at the South Pole. Okay. All right. Um, let me grab this and put it in here. Whoa! There's something to see there. Is this at the South Pole? Here we go. Wow. That was that was really cool. And I bet that's everything that to, there is to see here. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Wait, uh... Shoot, I'm all turned around. I gotta go that way. Okay. Fantastic. Wow. That was really cool. All right, up into the ship and refuel and view the ship log. All right, ocean current discovery. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Um, construction yard. The Nomai of the Southern, uh, at the Southern Obser- Oh my god. The Nomai at the Southern Observatory constructed a model of Giant's Deep that revealed how an object might sink below the strong current. There are two paths beneath Brittle Hollow's surface that lead to the observatory. One starts at the Gravity Cannon. The other starts at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. That's, hmm... Okay. The Nomai finished building the final module for the orbital probe cannon and sent it into orbit around Giant's Deep. 
I used a Nomai projection pool and saw the interior of a space station in orbit around Giant Steep. Gab Gabro sees a bright flash. Okay, yeah, that's obviously. Um... Okay. Okay. Man, there's a lot to this. There should be something at the South Pole. Uh, wait, isn't this where Gabro lives? Yeah, this is Gabro's place. Um, I'm gonna land and see where I'm at. All right, cool. Uh, unbuckle and uh, open the hatch. Where am I? I am not at the South, so I gotta go further. All right. Cool. Gotta go further. Oh, wait. I can literally see the map right there. Um, okay. So, so if I just keep turning... They were talking about the southern pole at... Oh, at Brittle Rock? Yeah, because the south pole here is the storm. Oh, wait. Hang on. Wait. Come on. Oh, yeah. This this big cyclone is the is the is the South Pole. Wow. Wow. Riddle Rock. Um. Oh boy. Um. Okay. So, looking around, what is that? Hollow's Lantern? Interesting. Okay, what is this? That's Brittle Hollow. I need Brittle Rock. Addle Rock, Brittle Hollow, Hollow's Lantern. Oh, Brittle Hollow. Okay. I see. Okay. Um. What, hold, let me, hold on a, one second. Let me see here. Let's see. Um. Da, 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 da. Okay. So far, the stream has been going for almost four hours. So, I think... What I'm gonna do is this. Um, I'm gonna meditate until the next loop. Uh, and I am going to uh, end things off here. Let's review our memories real quick. We were through, we were in space. And we, okay. We were we were on on the planet and we saw the things and we learned new information and it's all in the computer so it doesn't matter. Yep, sounds about right. And obviously the orbital probe cannon launched and it destroyed the thing when it did. Okay, cool. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end things here because. Getting into exploring a whole other planet seems like it's going to be another three hours. So, uh, this has been a really cool game. I am glad. When, when will I play again? Um, I'm planning on creating my streaming schedule tomorrow for the coming week. So, follow me at Hyperact Hero on Twitter. Um, I'll pin that to my profile once it once I put it up. And 
I don't know, but I I really I, I'm excited to play more of this. Um, I'm definitely gonna play more Kirby in the coming week. Definitely going to try and play some 3D Sonic games. Like I want, I, I'd like to play through um, as many 3D Sonic games between now and the release of Frontiers as possible. Um, not necessarily completing them or anything, but like you know, complete the story in Adventure and Adventure Two, um, possibly Colors Ultimate and forces and force and generations and forces if i have time i'm gonna g go through as many of them as i can but i probably won't get through all of them so i'll i'm gonna prioritize the sonic adventure games and probably sonic colors but if i get to generations and forces that would be fantastic because i would love to play all of them just to kind of have that in 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 the front of my mind when i go to play frontiers um, just kind of see where we were, where things have gone, and, yeah, Sonic Frontiers, it's, uh, when's it coming out? Oh, it's coming out exactly a month from now. Today's the 8th, and so, it comes out on November 8th. I am definitely gonna play that on stream. I am very excited for it. I have, I've been trying to be not so excited for it, because, like, I've been disappointed before, and I don't want to be let down. But everyone who's played it, for the mo well, almost everyone who's played it has said that it's just really great and really fun. So, definitely going to play more Kirby. We've I've got three worlds left in that. Um, definitely going to play some... I'm going to play some Splatoon 3 before the month is out, so that way I can get ready for next month's Splatfest. And I'm going to play... what else? Kirby, Outer Wilds. Splatoon 3, and some Sonic. So, I guess I'm going to try to stream four days next week. We'll see how that goes. Uh, going to depend on how busy my schedule is. But, in general, that's the plan. Um, I'll And I'll be sure to upload to my profile when those things happen. And the VODs will be available on my YouTube channel, Hyperactive Hero, where you are watching this right now. So... If you could give a like and subscribe, that would be very helpful. Hit the bell so that you can be notified of when things are happening. And follow at Hyperact Hero on Twitter for all the latest updates. I think that's about everything I had to say. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else, but I think that's it. Uh, thanks for joining me for the stream. Really great having you here. Thank you, Rubius, for explaining to me uh, the things that I did not already know. Very helpful. Um, but yeah, hyperactive hero, power down for now. See ya. Uh, my ending screen is bugging out. One sec. Okay, let's try this one more time. Hyperactive hero, power down for now. See you guys.